opportunities. Sorry, it just like upsets me. Kourtney Kardashian is on the verge of a violent breakdown. Her worst fear has come true, after all. But even worse is the fact that her reaction is completely justified. Any sane person would react the same way watching Scott Disick spiral down the path of self-destruction. But Kourtney isn't just anyone to Scott. They have history together, a classic one, not to forget their kids. But before we go into those details, Let's see what exactly has caused Courtney to finally tip over the edge and lose her emotional control. Before anyone jumps to any conclusions, it has everything to do with Scott's recent transformation, if you can call it one. Scott made headlines, all right, just not in the way anyone expected. In the bustling streets of New York City, he emerged and caught the attention of the crowd instantly, but not because of his good looks or street fashion. The reason he turned heads was different. His once familiar silhouette seemed to have undergone a transformation, his frame leaner, his jawline more pronounced, and his demeanor exuding a newfound confidence. Accompanied by his daughter Penelope and son Rain, Scott cut a striking figure in a deep blue suit, the epitome of New York sophistication. His hair impeccably styled, his facial hair expertly trimmed, he seemed every bit the Hollywood icon. While his style seemed on point, Scott's appearance sparked more concern among his fans and followers than anything else, particularly regarding his dramatic weight loss. Concerned fans speculated about the cause of his changed appearance suspecting undisclosed health issues or substance abuse. However, it seems his sudden transformation was very much intentional and wanted. He has allegedly been using Ozempic to shed his dad bod. Sources have also confirmed that he is not suffering from illness or engaging in heavy drug use as evidenced by his active involvement in parenting duties alongside Courtney. But why would he suddenly feel the need to return to such drastic measures to lose weight? Well, Scott turned to Ozempic due to significant weight gain. Well, I, I gotta be honest, I kind of went into this a little bit more skeptical in the sense of like not really believing so much in like what you do, but... He reportedly felt highly uncomfortable with his appearance, and like many in the entertainment industry, he sought a rapid solution to shed the extra pounds. Scott had been struggling with insecurity regarding his weight ever since he gained a few pounds after two accidents that rendered his physical mobility limited including a terrifying car crash and a subsequent fall while teaching his son to perform a dirt bike trick. The initial accident occurred in August 2022, when he flipped his $250,000 Lamborghini Urus in Los Angeles, reportedly speeding and colliding with a stone mailbox. It just literally was like, bleh, bleh, and that smacked into a pillar. But it basically hit and it did a somersault forward then hit, then land. Despite sustaining a minor head injury, he refused medical attention. Then, in a separate incident, while trying to teach his son Mason to pop a wheelie on dirt bikes, Scott fell backward onto his already injured back, exacerbating his condition. The combination of these accidents resulted in what he described as dual back problems. In one of the episodes of The Kardashians, Scott seemed concerned about his well-being following the time when his back injuries were causing a glitch in his daily activities. Khloe Kardashian paid Scott a visit, expressing her worries over his condition. Maybe needs a little pep talk because this is probably the unhealthiest I've seen him. Scott opened up about the aftermath of the accident, revealing that his mobility had been severely affected, leading to weight gain and a decline in physical activity. Despite the urging of doctors, he admitted to neglecting physical therapy hesitant to undergo surgery. Chloe encouraged Scott to prioritize his health and take the necessary steps towards recovery. She emphasized the importance of seeking happiness and contentment, urging him to consider the impact on his quality of life. You can turn your life around. You can still come out and have a beautiful, positive, happy life. Reflecting on his pre-injury lifestyle, Scott also reminisced about his recreational activities, notably highlighting his enjoyment of sex. However, he acknowledged the stark contrast to his situation at that time, where even simple movements had become challenging. Poor Courtney obviously thought her ex's sudden weight loss had something to do with his penchant to go down the self-destructive pathway. Despite their tumultuous history, Courtney has always maintained a sense of concern for Scott's well-being. 
especially in light of his past struggles with substance abuse. But that might not be the only reason Courtney isn't happy with Scott. The former Kardashian star has been spotted a few times with a potential new girlfriend, 25-year-old influencer Mary Grayson Hunt, most recently during a casual shopping trip at Barnes & Noble. Accompanying Scott, Mary sported a toned look, donning baggy jeans, a cropped jacket, and Ugg slippers. Despite limited information about Mary, who boasts nearly 8,000 Instagram followers and resides in Los Angeles, the duo was spotted together indulging in luxury holiday shopping on Rodeo Drive. Coincidentally, during the same time frame, Scott was also seen spending time with his ex-girlfriend, Chloe Berry. Maybe Courtney is not over Scott yet and his playboyish ways coming to the surface are bothering her. They had quite a tumultuous relationship after all. In fact, Scott's relationship with Courtney has been a central storyline in the Kardashian saga for a very long time. Their on-again, off-again romance has been marked by drama, heartbreak, and moments of genuine connection. In the mid-2000s, fate brought Courtney and Scott together at a gathering in Mexico, hosted by their mutual friend Joe Francis. However, their initial encounter did not spark immediate romance. Courtney found Scott annoying, citing their age difference and his lack of steady employment as deterrents. Nevertheless, their paths continued to cross, leading to a friendship that eventually blossomed into something more. Their relationship took a public turn in 2007 when Scott made his debut on the reality TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians as Courtney's boyfriend. Despite initial skepticism from Courtney's family, particularly her mother, Kris Jenner, who harbored doubts about Scott's maturity and fidelity, the couple persevered. They weathered the ups and downs of reality TV fame and embarked on the journey of parenthood together. In 2009, Courtney and Scott welcomed their first child, Mason Dash Disick, marking a significant milestone in their relationship. The joy of becoming parents brought them closer together, solidifying their bond. However, their relationship faced strains including Scott's struggles with alcohol and anger management, which led to temporary splits and reconciliations. Make any excuses for my behavior. I definitely wouldn't have done these things sober, but it was all wrong. The birth of their daughter, Penelope Scotland Disick, in 2012, further cemented their commitment to each other and their growing family. Despite challenges, including Scott's stint in rehab and rumors of infidelity, they continued to navigate their relationship, with Courtney expressing her commitment to co-parenting and supporting Scott through his struggles. In 2015, their relationship reached a breaking point when photos emerged of Scott cozying up to another woman in France. And you don't need to wait for him to come home anymore. It's just time to move on and to find your happiness. Heartbroken and disillusioned, Courtney ended their tumultuous relationship signaling the end of an era. Scott's subsequent attempts at reconciliation were met with mixed emotions, as Courtney prioritized her own well-being and that of their children. Over the years, Courtney and Scott have remained intertwined through their co-parenting journey, celebrating milestones and supporting each other's personal growth. Despite the challenges and setbacks, their relationship has evolved into a friendship based on mutual respect and admiration. As Courtney moved on to new relationships, including her wedding to Travis Barker, Scott grappled with his feelings of loss and acceptance. While their romantic relationship may have ended, their connection remains as evidenced by their continued presence in each other's lives. This might be the main reason for Courtney's outrage at the situation, but whatever it is, we can't deny that the man might be grappling with his own demons. But for Courtney, who has witnessed Scott's highs and lows firsthand, the road ahead is fraught with uncertainty. Will she do something about her growing unease at the Scott situation? Or will she let the drama die down and allow Scott to live his life the way he wants? Tell us what you think in the comment box below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know why Kourtney Kardashian finally spoke out on Justin Bieber being the real father to their son, Rain, watch this next video.